Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we've got a brand new one for you, the Air Venturi Avenger Bullpup in 22 caliber. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, the Avenger, obviously the original, the synthetic stock rifle came out 2020, extremely popular gun, uh, followed up by a wood stock, and now we have a bullpup version. Now, uh, pretty much the same action, you know, you've got a lot of the same features. There are some changes, differences on this in particular that we're gonna go over for you, but uh, as many of you know and have experienced for yourselves, uh, the Avenger is a highly adjustable gun and also a very, very, very good performer. Uh, it has done really incredibly well out in the market uh, and shoots very well. I mean, we've shown you all this stuff in our original review. You've seen a ton of others as well uh, that have sung the praises of this gun, and I think the bullpup will be no different. Uh, but let's dive into the details and check this thing out tip to tail, and then we'll get it out to the range and shoot. Now running down the features of the Avenger, obviously we have our quick disconnect fill fitting here at the front with that protective fill cap on there to keep your dust and debris out. One change that we've seen so far on this bullpup and on the other Avengers as well is actually a uh, new baffle system that is threaded onto this end cap here. Let me get this out and I'll show you. There we go. You can see that baffle stack there. Uh, this does not contact the barrel, so keep that in mind. You know, you might still want to consider that Donnie FL extender that we sell, which is a really great upgrade, but this is going to keep things just a hair quieter than the original Avengers that just had the end cap, no baffles. Uh, so that's a nice upgrade. I know a lot of folks were asking for a way to quiet this down, and Air Venturi seems to have answered the call on that one. Now, as we're moving our way back on the gun, you still have the same 180 cc's of air capacity. We do still have that air cylinder hidden in the stock here on that bottom portion. Uh, fills to 4350 PSI, that is unchanged. So spec wise, all of this is going to be the same uh, from a performance perspective as that original Avenger. Um, and your enhancements are really gonna come in the stock for the most part here. Uh, at the front of the stock, you have a kind of tri-rail Picatinny setup here. So we have Picatinny rails on both sides and then one on the bottom. The nice thing about this one on the bottom compared to the original rifles is that this is not connected to a barrel band or anything like that. So if you do mount a bipod on here, it shouldn't have an influence on your point of impact. Now moving back, we do have a relatively tall Picatinny scope rail. Now this is Picatinny only, not the uh, dovetail Picatinny setup that we saw on the original Avengers. Uh, personally, no problems for me. It is on the long side. So if you do want to mount a more compact optic, you have room to get that back closer to your eye or if you want to mount something a little bit bigger or longer like I have with this UTG 4-16 to you have plenty of room to do so and use really whatever mount setup you want uh, of course that is accompanied by two separate barrel bands here and again nothing on the stock is influencing those barrel bands so shouldn't have any point of shift point of impact shift issues rather uh, or anything like that to speak of which is nice um, and again you know you have some nice texturing on the stock as I mentioned before completely different material. Uh, moving back to our breech, we do still have our regulator gauge on the right hand side of the rifle and your fill pressure gauge on that left hand side. Now as far as your adjustments go, when you flip the stock over you are going to find this little rubber cap here. You peel that back and you are going to find your regulator adjustment and your degassing screw all unchanged. So again, uh, if you do want to make adjustments to this rifle, you know, remember, if you want to adjust that pressure down, you do need to degas the rifle first. Go ahead, reset that regulator, uh, and then you're good to fill it back up and you can adjust it up at will to 200 bar right around 300 or 3000 psi rather. Now another cool little feature that's been built into the stock here is some extra magazine storage. The Avenger comes with two mags. They are 10 shots here in 22 and 177 as well, of course. 25 is an eight round mag, uh, but these fit right into this little stock section and have a nice positive snap when they lock in. So you can carry extra mags ready to go whenever you need them right on board. You do still have your uh, swivel stud attachment points, your sling mounting points here on the front and the back of the rifle, although it's very 
very compact, so I'm not sure you guys are going to need them. Uh, another little bit of a different enhancement feature here that Air Venturi's built into this butt pad is a tool-free adjustment. So basically, you're just going to pull back and you can slide it up. There are little individualized slots. That's about as high as it goes. This is about as low as it goes, uh, but you can set it for really almost anywhere in between there or right back at the center. A uh, nice textured rubber butt pad, and like I said, all you got to do, pull it back move it up or down, wherever you want and adjust it. Uh, you do still have your hammer spring adjustment point at the back of the action there. Uh, and the only other real change here is that cheek piece. Uh, you take a pen or something like that, you grab a hold of this cheek piece on top, you'll see those four holes in there. You're just gonna slide that detent down and then you can actually move your cheek piece backwards uh, or if it's in one of those slots you can move it forwards so you do have that adjustability in tandem with this long rail to really get this gun set up to be most comfortable for you to give you the best results and rounding things out here of course still side lever action um, personally i'm not a fan on bullpups when they have that action uh, back at your face it's not difficult to work at all uh, but it is a bit of an inconvenience to have to reach back there to operate that each time uh, not a huge deal, a personal gripe of mine. You guys, your mileage will vary as it always does. Uh, but really, you know, everything else is standard Avenger here. So we're going to get this thing out on the range, shoot it, see how it does. One other thing I will mention before we head out, the trigger system. Because you are adding a linkage in now for this bullpup trigger to move everything forward, the trigger definitely is not the same nice crisp feel uh, that the original Avenger had. Now, I'm not saying you can't adjust it to that, but out of the box, as we test all things, this one is not quite as nice as I was expecting expecting it to be, but it's still pretty good. It's relatively light uh, and predictable, easy to shoot for sure, just different. So I'm letting you guys know up front, but let's get this thing out to the range. We'll go ahead, shoot it for accuracy. I'm sure it's going to be good there as the Avengers of past have been. Uh, we'll get it over the chronograph, see what shot counts like at our current settings. I'll let you know what those settings are. Also sound testing. We'll see how that new baffle system's working, and then we'll put that trigger to the test and see how it performs. Before we recap the accuracy that this Avenger Bullpup put out, wanted to show you guys, since you can't see it while I'm over there at the bench, just how this thing operates without having to really, you know, move out of the way. So you can cock it just like that. So at least for me, pretty easy to operate without having to move my body. Uh, not a huge fan of a side lever at the back of the action, but certainly workable, not too cumbersome. Should be easy enough for you folks out there to get behind. All right, 45 yard accuracy results, 10 rounds for each of these groups, all fired out of the magazine, no single shot tray. And again, this is no tuning, this is out of the box. So maybe not ideal velocities for all of these pellets, but looking it over, H&N Barracuda matches 21 grains. These are 5.51 millimeters, just under an inch at 0.9 inches, solid 10 shot group, not the best. Uh, JSB 1589 Jumbo is a 0.85 inch group, so we're getting a little bit better there. Our FX hybrids were the only slug that grouped under an inch at 45 yards and probably shooting them a little slower than they want to go. Uh, but 0.85 inches for all 10 there as well, certainly not bad. Uh, Crossman Premier Dome's a little bit of a surprise at three quarters of an inch, a very good 10 shot group there for a relatively inexpensive pellet. But our two best, the H&N Barracuda 18s and the JSB 1813 Exact Heavies, both of these at 0.6 inches, absolutely phenomenal accuracy for all 10 shots at 45 yards. The Avenger Bullpups got the goods. Let's take these 18s and get them over the chronograph.
So taking our JSB1813 Jumbo Heavies to the chronograph with a reg pressure of 2200 PSI and just one turn in clockwise on that hammer spring, one out of five turns, you are looking at an average velocity of 856 feet per second. That's just under 30 foot pounds and over 88 shots within an 18 foot per second spread. Those are absolutely fantastic numbers out of a 180 cc cylinder from a 4350 PSI fill. And you can see we dropped off the reg pretty quick after that. Of course, as you tweak and tune this gun to your liking, you're gonna see some variance in that shot count. Uh, but really this is great right out of the box for me, for a backyard pester, nice baseline numbers. If you wanted to go with a power tune, you certainly can. You could certainly drop that reg pressure down a little bit and get yourself even more shots if you want to shoot a lighter pellet there the possibilities are really endless one of the great things about the avenger but right out of the box some awesome numbers So I'm sure most of you will remember when we originally reviewed the 25 caliber Avenger when it first came out. Uh, obviously very impressive results and with a little bit of tuning, we got some very impressive shot count numbers out of that gun at good power. Uh, and the 22 we had never reviewed before. Tons of other people have done it. Um, so for tuning and all that stuff, you know, you guys know where to go check out all that stuff. But from a straight out of the box performance perspective, this 22 has been nothing short of phenomenal. Obviously the accuracy that we saw with that that 25 when we originally reviewed it the 22 is just as good uh, you have a lot of great pellet options out there that are performing well out of this gun and the ability to set it up wherever you want for whatever your application is is really a huge benefit and one reason why the avenger has been so successful in the market and so well received because it gives you kind of the ability to set it up the way you want to do whatever you want to do uh, and the gun performs at pretty much all of those places in terms of how you're going to set it up uh, it's been really nice to see air venturi answer some of the calls that folks have had uh, as far as like ad Adding these baffles, you know, changing up some of the attachment points for your bipods and things like that uh, so that they're not changing the performance of the gun out of the box while adding some of these enhancements like this adjustable butt pad as well as your mag storage. Like these are all nice things to see in my opinion. Uh, and overall this gun is a real value in that $400 price point range. Uh, for a bullpup. You know, there's not many affordable bullpups out there. Uh, so for Air Venturi to throw the Avenger into a bullpup stock and have this out for you pretty much just a year or so after the original uh, rifle came out is really great to see and one I think you guys are going to enjoy a lot. So next time you're on PyramidAir.com, don't forget to check this one out. Uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Thank you a ton for joining us today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe uh, here to the channel on YouTube. Click that notification bell. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'd love to see you guys over there as well. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you next time.